In conception, the idea was to add 125 additional faculty lines um, to arts and science. Arts and science broadly conceived, including all the humanities departments, but also the Courant Institute and the Institute for Fine Arts. The number of faculty at the time we began partners was, was around, around 600. So we were increasing that to 7, 725, almost a 20% increase. But at the same time, there'd be another 125 positions that would open up and that we need to fill because of retirements, turnovers, and, and so forth. So you put those two together, and over the, over the course of that partner's period, uh, some 250 faculty lines were filled. And it wasn't just about hiring either. It was mostly about people. But we knew also at the beginning that the quality of our facilities in arts and science really weren't matched to the caliber of our faculty or students and certainly not to the level of our ambitions. So Partners also included um, immense renovations. By the end of Partners, we had, we had renovated over half the arts and science space. A whole set of departments had new homes, from, from economics to my own department, uh, philosophy to sociology to politics to linguistics, the journalism program, uh, the biology department, the physics department, the list really does go, go on and on. One of the remarkable things that happened in the partners period, not just in FAS, but across the university generally at that time, was there was a whole set of things happening that increased our profile um, in the STEM subjects, the science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and positioned us to do even greater things in the next 10 years.